this time, we now have batch analysis with current sources. So initially, no, previously, we only have uh, voltage sources. But if you look at this, no, mangyayari talaga na meron talagang current sources. Okay? So, how, what do we do? No, so, just like in, in uh, what do you call this? In other analysis, we have two cases. Now, what are those two cases? Okay. So, first, when a current source exists only in one mesh. And sec uh, then, therefore, we set the mesh current equal to that current source. Okay. Um, that is if they are in the same direction. No? Kung yung mesh current that you assumed has the same direction with your current source. But if the they have opposite directions then therefore uh negative yung value ng iyong uh mesh current okay so magiging negative ng iyong current source case 2 a current source exists exists between two meshes okay so this way you create a super mesh so kung meron tayong super node sa ating um node analysis we also have super mesh in our mesh analysis. So, uh, super mesh is created by excluding the current source and any elements connected in series with it. Okay? So, a super mesh results when two meshes have a current source, whether dependent or independent, in common. Okay? Properties of a super mesh. Uh, in a super mesh provides the constraint it has no current of its own which is like the, the nodal analysis in a um, super node it has no um, voltage of its own a super mesh requires the application of both kvl and kcl no so but i had in doon sa ano no? sa nodal analysis so if initially in in mesh analysis with only uh, voltage source, what we are using is KVL. So here in um, mesh analysis with current sources, which involves a super mesh, then we also have to apply Kirchhoff's current law. Okay? So here. So in this case, now we have uh, three meshes. No, I1, I2, uh, mesh currents, and I3. Okay? So if you notice... This current source no is exists no, between mesh one and mesh two. Okay, so therefore, this is a, a super mesh. Yeah. Okay, so this is a super mesh. Okay, so that is your super mesh. Okay, so accordingly, what we're going to do is to apply KVL and then apply KCL. So here at super mesh, We have your KVL, right? So again, so six volts. So leaving at the positive terminal, so that is plus six. And then we add. No, so of course, ang gamitin mo dito is I two, and dito is gamitin mo is I one. No, so we add two minus two minus I one. Okay, so that is um, minus one. So that is minus 3 I1. And then here we have 4 and 8. So that is minus 12 I2. So when we pass here the 2 ohm resistor, we, we also have to consider I3. So that is plus 2 I3. And when we pass this at the 4 ohm source, we also have to consider I3. 
is plus ano yun? plus 4 i 3 that is equal to 0 okay so simplifying we have minus 3 i 1 minus i 1 minus 12 i 2 then we add this plus 6 i 3 is equal to minus 6. You can simplify even more, divide by 3. So, okay, nang bahala dyan. So, this is equation 1 using the KVL. And then we apply KCL. Okay, so you apply KCL at your super mesh. So when you say KCL, no current entering is equal to the current leaving. Where do we apply that? Okay, so you apply that at one of the terminals, know where your uh, one of the nodes, no in that uh, mesh, in that super mesh. So maybe we can apply it here. Okay, so when you apply it there, you have three amperes here no, entering the node, and then I two also entering the node no, because I2 flows no, on that direction. And I3 leaves the node. So that is I3. Okay? So, uh, therefore, we now have our KCL equation I3 is equal to 3 plus I2. Okay? So this is now our equation two. Okay, so don't forget the third mesh. So in your third mesh, at mesh three, again, simply adding this resistors. So four plus two plus two is minus eight i3 plus 2i1 plus 4i2 is equals to 0. So this is now our equation. Three. So three linear equations with three unknowns.